What is FastAPI and how does it differ from other web frameworks? FastAPI is a modern, fast, high-performance web framework for building APIs with Python 3.7 plus based on standard Python type hints. It is different from other frameworks due to its highly performant nature, built-in API documentation, support for asynchronous programming, and automatic generation of open API and JSON schema documentation. What are the benefits of using FastAPI? The benefits of using FastAPI include high performance, built-in API documentation, support for asynchronous programming, automatic generation of open API and JSON schema documentation, easy integration with other Python libraries, and simple deployment to cloud platforms. How does FastAPI handle requests and responses? FastAPI uses the ASGI Asynchronous Server Gateway Interface standard to handle requests and responses, allowing for highly performant and scalable applications. It also provides support for HTTP methods such as GET, POST, PUT, and DELETE, as well as automatic validation of request and response data using Pydantic. What is the syntax for defining a root in FastAPI? To define a root in FastAPI, you use the adapt root, decorator followed by the HTTP method, then the path for the root. For example, adapt get items item underscore id defines a get root with a path parameter item underscore id. What are the different types of request parameters in FastAPI? FastAPI supports three types of request parameters, query parameters, path parameters, and request body parameters. Query parameters are added to the URL query string, path parameters are defined in the URL path, and request body parameters are sent in the request body. What is dependency injection in FastAPI? Dependency injection is a design pattern used in FastAPI to handle dependencies between different components of an application. It allows you to define dependencies once and then easily inject them into other components that require them. How do you define and use a dependency in FastAPI? To define a dependency in FastAPI, you use the depends function decorator. You can define dependencies at the endpoint level or at the application level. Once defined, you can then use the dependency as a parameter in your endpoint functions and FastAPI will automatically handle the injection of the dependency. What are middleware in FastAPI? Middleware in FastAPI are functions that are executed before or after an endpoint function is called. They can be used to modify requests and responses, add additional functionality to an endpoint, or perform authentication and validation. Middleware functions can be added to an application using the middleware class, and they can be added globally or to specific endpoints. How do you add middleware to a fast API application? To add middleware to a FastAPI application, you create a new instance of the middleware class and pass in the middleware functions that you want to use. You can then add the middleware to the application using the add underscore middleware method. What is the difference between path parameters and query parameters in FastAPI? Path parameters are part of the URL and are used to specify a specific resource or endpoint. Query parameters are used to filter or sort the results of a request and are passed as part of the query string. In FastAPI, path parameters are defined using curly braces in the URL path, while query parameters are defined as function parameters with default values. How does FastAPI handle exceptions and errors? FastAPI has an exception handling system that catches exceptions and returns appropriate error responses to the client. The system is customizable and can be extended with custom exception handlers. How do you handle COIS in FastAPI? FastAPI has built-in middleware for COIS handling. You can use the fastapi.middleware.cause module to configure COIS for your application. What is Pydantic and how is it used in FastAPI? 
Pydantic is a data validation and settings management library for Python. FastAPI uses Pydantic for request and response validation and for generating open API documentation. What is the syntax for defining a response model in FastAPI? You can define a response model using the response decorator and a Pydantic model class. For example, at app get items item underscore id response underscore model equals item. What are background tasks in FastAPI? Background tasks are tasks that run asynchronously in the background, independent of the client request response cycle. They can be used for tasks such as sending emails or performing database cleanup. How do you use background tasks in FastAPI? You can define a background task using the background tasks dependency and the background decorator. For example, async def send underscore email, email, str, background underscore tasks, background tasks. What is the purpose of a WebSocket in FastAPI? WebSockets allow for real-time communication between the client and server. FastAPI has built-in support for WebSockets, allowing for easy implementation of real-time applications. How do you implement WebSockets in FastAPI? You can implement WebSockets in FastAPI using the WebSocket Endpoint Decorator and the WebSocket Disconnect exception for handling disconnections. For example, at App WebSocket, WS. What is FastAPI's support for OAuth2 and JWT authentication? FastAPI has built-in support for OAuth2 and JWT authentication. You can use OAuth2 with JWT bearer token as the authentication method, and FastAPI provides easy-to-use decorators to protect your endpoints with authentication. How do you secure a FastAPI application? There are several ways to secure a FastAPI application, including using HTTPS, setting strong passwords, implementing authentication and authorization, validating user inputs, and using middleware for security headers. What are the benefits of using FastAPI with Docker? FastAPI and Docker make a great combination for developing, testing, and deploying applications. Docker simplifies the process of managing dependencies and environment, and FastAPI's performance and ease of use make it an ideal framework for containerization. How do you deploy a FastAPI application to a cloud platform like AWS or Heroku? You can deploy a FastAPI application to a cloud platform like AWS or Heroku using containerization or a platform-as-a-service PaaS offering. Docker is a popular choice for containerization, and cloud providers like AWS and Heroku offer easy-to-use PaaS solutions for deploying FastAPI applications. What is FastAPI's support for testing? FastAPI provides built-in support for testing using PyTest. You can write unit tests and integration tests for your FastAPI application, and FastAPI provides test client to simulate requests and responses for your endpoints. What are some best practices for developing and deploying FastAPI applications? Some best practices for developing and deploying FastAPI applications include using Pydantic for data validation, implementing caching and rate limiting, using logging and monitoring for debugging and performance optimization, and following security best practices. How does FastAPI handle scalability and performance? FastAPI is designed for high performance and scalability. It uses asynchronous programming with Python's Asensio library to handle multiple requests simultaneously, and its code generation feature generates optimized code for each endpoint. FastAPI also has built-in support for caching and rate limiting to improve performance.